Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on October 3rd, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to The Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well earthquakes, volcanoes, world weather. Always well, we starting out here looking at our sun as we've seen nine strong solar flares on our sun the past two days. One of them being the strongest we've seen since 2003, the strong X9.0 observed there on the Earth-facing disk. Looking at the last 48 hours incoming, cresting into view, we do have a very fiery sunspot region, has produced a couple of coronal mass ejections already, and as well plasma filaments swirling around there. Looking at oh, going here, plasma filaments swirling around the equatorial region. And then watch right here, big filament eruption and the X9.0 solar flare. And that was Earth directed, producing a large coronal mass ejection on its way to Earth. Having a look at multi-spectrum here, this is where we can see coronal hole regions. And there is one developing equatorial region just above sunspot region 3842 that has produced all of these solar flares. Pretty powerful sunspot regions right now. Solar cycle 25 definitely ramping up. Amazing images here provided to you by SDO, Solar Dynamics Observatory, and as well, Daily Events Worldwide. Thank you so much for watching. M-class solar flare there. Another M. X. And yet another M-class, strong M-class from AR4-3842. We have 10 sunspot regions right now to observe. Don't mind the little glitch there. That's a little recalibration of satellites. Big black hole turning into view right now. Heads up, my friends and family. We ain't seen nothing yet. This is just the beginning. Current space weather conditions, we are under R3, strong radio blackout, and as well R1, minor radio blackouts being observed. As well, G1, level 1, geomagnetic storm impacts expected tonight, tomorrow night, and thereafter. As we've got multiple coronal mass ejections on their way to Earth. Solar winds are coming in at 368 kilometers per second. Having a look here, solar X-ray flux showing that strong X9.01 solar flare and as well the nine strong solar flares that we've seen over the past two days. Geomagnetic activity hopping up a little bit and we will see that increase tonight thanks to these CMEs. Space Weather Prediction Spiral updating their Space Weather Spiral here. With their predictions for the next solar storms as they do quickly come towards us a little green circle there on the right hand side is earth expected impact impact fourth into the fifth and then fifth into the sixth and yet another one on its way so get ready everybody get charged up and welcome to the greatest cosmic dance party on the planet. And you're all invited, whether you like it or not. And much love, everybody, and I thank you for being a part of this channel. Staying aware and prepared. Hashtag do crew. Having a look at ISWA Space Prediction Spiral, showing their CME model as well. Pretty large coronal mass ejection on its way to Earth. Little yellow circle on the right-hand side is Earth. And as well, most recent see me, I showed you the plasma filament pop in the outgoing position on our sun. And that will be visible here with the coronal mass ejections on LASCO 3. That little star heading behind the sun, that is Mercury. Large coronal mass ejections right there, Earth facing and as well heading out towards the northern region from the large plasma filament. Look at that. Much love, everybody, and I hope you enjoyed the show. And look up tonight. Hopefully you have clear skies. Most likely here in Ontario, we'll see a slight chance of 
northern lights from the most recent solar storms. But here you see there are multiples on their way. Now let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours as we're sitting and hovering just above 200 earthquakes according to USGS. Most recent here being in Indonesia, Tabilo, Indonesia, 158 kilometer depth. It's well notable here, fact, fact. Indonesia, 4.7 earthquake. 5.4 there north of Papua New Guinea. That is the largest the last 24 hours. Fiji region, Levuka, Fiji, 533 kilometer depth. Pretty deep for the region. Kermadec Islands, 5.3. And then across to the North Pacific here, Alaska saw an uptick last night. Adak, Alaska. The Aleutian Islands, east of the Rat Islands. And as well, minor seismicity up into Anchorage, which I showed yesterday, continues. Across the U.S., not too much to talk about, nor show. Minor seismicity and no swarms. 5.0 magnitude earthquake there, Mid-Atlantic Ridge. And as well, seismicity coming back to the Dominican Republic. 4.6 earthquake here north of Iceland at Svalbard and Jan Mayen. Quiet across the African plate, but a little active south of the plate here. 5.0 Prince Edward Islands region and as well a 4.9 South Indian Ocean. Carrying on here, it has been a pretty quiet day for earthquakes, expecting something big here, especially going through these space weather events. They do correlate and they do help increase the seismicity. This is a look at the last seven days for shakers across the planet. Largest being the 6.6 .6 Tonga region. Deepest being a 610 kilometer depth earthquake about six days ago, same region. Heads up, you live in an earthquake-prone zone, just be ready, stay aware and prepared, something big is coming. And uh, most likely will be in the North Pacific, Central Pacific. Having a look at our air quality forecast brought to you by the active and erupting volcanoes around the world. Big SO2 plumes coming out of Kamchatka and as well Aleutian Islands. And that is swirling right across Canada right now. You can't see it, but I'm sure you can taste it. Sulfur dioxide brought to you by all of our erupting volcanoes. And as you can see, this is where the most intense SO2 is coming from, all of the active volcanic regions, especially through Indonesia, Papua New Guinea, New Caledonia. Big plume coming out of the South Pacific. Got to wonder what that's erupting from. Looking here, South America and Africa. Big plume, South America, thanks to all of the wildfires that have been burning for the past few weeks across Bolivia. Look at the size of that low pressure system right there, grinding up into Europe this week. Big weather systems all week long, strong winds. You see those tight isobars? Going to be very windy conditions. Same thing for North America here. You've got a tropical system developing, hanging out in the Gulf of Mexico for about five to six days straight before it gains strength Wednesday, Thursday to the 10th, making landfall Florida Panhandle. As well, pretty big system heading up into the Atlantic provinces, grinding into the long range. Big low off the coast of BC. Watch for very strong winds high surf, and a lot of rain. And, most likely, a lot of snow. Things are changing quickly. We're getting cooler at night. Still abnormally warm during the day. Looking over Europe, big system grinding into the Mediterranean this week will affect Italy and Turkey and all throughout eastward. And then some big systems heading into Ireland. Hurricane, Atlantic hurricane heading into Portugal and France. So stay tuned to your local weather stations. You've got some big systems on the way. Overlooking Australia, Southeast Asia, no major typhoons to report, nor cyclones, just some very strong low pressure systems. 
south of Australia. Just missing you guys, but giving you waves of moisture here and there. I'm sure you guys are seeing a little bit moisture than you're used to. Multiple strong systems in the southern hemisphere. Leave you here looking at the North Pacific Ocean as we watch all these systems grinding into BC and Alaska set to bring unprecedented amounts of snow. That's right, snow and as well a lot of rain. So much love everybody, hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next video. Stay aware and prepared, stay young and have fun, and get your daily do. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.